We've got uh, John Carlton from Frankfurt Heritage Week Coalition and Diane Dahoney, who is the Community Service Librarian at the Public Service, or I'm sorry, at the Paul Sawyer Public Library here with us this morning. Uh, thank you all for being here with us. Thank you all for having us. So we're here to talk about the Frankfurt Heritage Lecture Series. Um, we've got another edition of that coming up on Saturday, and we'll get all the, the details of that just shortly. Um, but tell us overall, you, you already had one uh, lecture already back in October. Correct. Um, tell, us, uh, tell us overall about the, um, the Heritage Lecture Series and kind of where the idea came about. And okay. So um, in the 1980s, uh, John Gray and Russ Hatter, Nikki, Nikki Hughes, uh, Jim Wallace had a lecture series and Cable 10 taped, all, I think, all of them. And you all have them in your yeah. records. And it's, uh, they were instrumental in um, like the modern academic research of Frankfurt's history. Um, <clears throat> and they really let, they covered topics, the, the Craw, um, African-American churches in Frankfurt, um, the tobacco wars, um, I mean, just all kinds of things yeah. and, you know, had uh, pictures and really they got the community involved and asked them to submit pictures of anything you have, mm -hmm. um, any documentation, any research. And all of that led to so many things, um, the creation of the Capital City Museum, um, the, uh, preserve the designation of our historic districts downtown. Um, the first Main Street program in uh, in Kentucky, and one of the first in the United States, was okay. DFI when it was created. Um, and of course, all of those things that those organizations do nowadays. And of course, then they created uh, Heritage Frankfurt Heritage Press, which has produced uh, several books: Historic Images of Frankfurt, Volume One and Two, a Historic Frankfurt Yesterday and Today. Um, you know, it, and then of course, recently. Uh, other people, such as Richard Taylor, produced books of his own, Elkhorn, Evolution of the Kentucky Landscape, which was the Thomas D. Clark Medallion winner in 2018. Um, but so this lecture series was really, really important. And several of us in the community and across different organizations had talked the last few years about bringing a new lecture series back. Right. And of course, um, since we're not affiliated with Historic Frankfurt, um, we we created a new, um, you know, based out of the Frankfurt Heritage Week stuff that we've been doing. Um, and of course, one of our best partners, oh, um, including Cable 10, Cable 10 and Paul Sawyer Public Library have been instrumental in Frankfurt Heritage Week and a lot of the last several years of uh, our heritage activities. Um, so we really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, we wanted to get this started. and. Actually, you know, in uh, 2026, America 250 is coming up. There'll be the 250th right. anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And we are kind of marching towards the 250th anniversaries of America. Actually, Lee's town is 1775. So uh, in two years from now, Lee's town's 250th. <laughs> um, then America in 2026. Then Frankfurt's in 2036. Kentucky's 2042 and Franklin County's in 2045. So we are marching towards uh, really important dates for our community. Yeah, and some of those some of those years sound far off, but they're not they're not really that far. They're not when you're when you're talking about planning and funding. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have to start now. Mm -hmm. So um, th these are kind of the things that we're we're trying to do and incorporate. While her historic Frankfurt concentrated on very specific subjects to Frankfurt. These are kind of tangential um, to America and Kentucky history. Um, and of course, uh, James Wilkinson, which is our next one on Saturday, um, is the founder of Frankfurt, but he was also the highest ranking official um, in the United States uh, ever charged with treason. Oh, wow. So um, he has a national significance, a Kentucky significance, a Frankfurt significance. So. It's about pulling all of that in, and we couldn't ask for better partners than Paul Sawyer Public yeah. Library. It made sense to, to have this new lecture series find its home at the library. Um, as John said, um, we've been partners on a lot of this programming um, for several years now, and we've kind of thrown some ideas back and forth, and, and this just 
seemed like the right time and the right place to do it. Um, as you mentioned, we soft launched um, the series back in October with Jessica Stavros uh, from Liberty Hall. Um, and then our second installment of the lecture series will be this Saturday, December 9th. Uh, then we're going to take off a month in, in January to kind of let you get your year started. And starting in February, it will be a monthly uh, event the second Saturday of the month at Paul Sawyer Library at 1 p.m. And they're free. They are they absolutely are free. free. And taped for pres- you know, for that's our posterity right. yeah. by yeah, Cable right. 10. So. Yeah, we, we were there in October, and that's actually out there on uh, the Cable 10 YouTube channel for folks if they want to yes. check it out. And I know you all have uh, shared it out as well. Sure. Um, but let's talk about that. The December 9th at 1 p.m. Um, tell us a little bit more about that topic. You mentioned James Wilkinson. Yes. So... Um, most people that study Frankfurt history are familiar with Andrew Linklater's book, Artist and Treason, about James Wilkinson. It's a comprehensive biography, and I went out to look for him, um, and unfortunately he had passed in 2013, but my Google search was not unsuccessful because <laughs> in uh, July or June, June or July the summer, um, this new book, uh, American Trader by uh, Howard W. Cox, uh, was released. And it's American Trader General James Wilkinson's Betrayal of the Republic and Escape from Justice. Mm-hmm. And this is very interesting because while Linklater's book was about Wilkinson's entire life, this focuses on his treason trial and his crimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and for those that don't know, James Wilkinson is Frank- Frankfurt's founder. He founded Frankfurt in October, October 6th, 1786. Um, and that's really an interesting situation because if you all remember in July we celebrated the 250th anniversary of the first survey of Frankfurt that's right. mm-hmm. yep. so that survey belonged to Robert McAfee he never registered it at the Virginia Land Office Humphrey Marshall who was an attorney and was a resident of Glen Willis where Limewater is um, was doing research for a client in the Virginia Land Office and discovered the survey was not registered so he proceeds to register it himself McAfee finds out, sues him. The court agrees with Marshall that McAfee had neglected to properly register his survey, gives it to Humphrey Marshall. Within three weeks, Marshall then sells it to James Wilkinson, who had been in Lexington since 1783. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then immediately, uh, Wilkinson takes it to the Virginia legislature and petitions to have Frankfurt founded yeah and they approved it so wow. he is officially our founder mm-hmm. that's amazing and then you get to hear the yeah the, the the story of um the betrayal of republic and escape from justice but you actually get to hear it from the author from howard w cox it's not Correct. just a, a lecture on a scholar or from somebody else who talks about a different book references this book maybe mm-hmm. it's like this is the guy who wrote the book yeah so and the the great thing about howard cox is um he is a former um, military jag so prosecutor for the military he's a former federal prosecutor for the justice department he is uh a retired um, assistant inspector general for the CIA, and he was also the um, lead on investigations for the Senate Intelligence Committee. Mm -hmm. So there's no better background that you could have, you know, civilian um, prosecutor, military prosecutor, intelligence, a congressional investigator um, to write this book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so this is, that's very, uh, you know, it, it's very unique that you got this guy to write this book. And what um, Howard Cox says in the book is throughout his entire career, James Wilkinson kept popping up when he's researching treason and um, intelligence and whatnot. Mm-hmm. James Wilkinson keeps popping up. And okay. so he thought there's no better person to write a book about. Um, and he actually even argues that James Wilkinson should replace Benedict Arnold as the greatest traitor in American history. Wow. wow. Yeah. Hmm. But I, w- I was going to ask, and maybe folks, if they if they uh, attend on December 9th at 1 p.m. over at the library, uh, maybe they can pick his brain a little bit. Maybe he'll talk about it, about where he landed on, like, why James Wilkinson. And yes. it sounds, sounds kind of, mm-hmm. you're, you're on the right track. Oh, it yeah. Seems like, yeah. And, yeah. of course, we'll have a Q&A period following okay. his, his talk. Um, but... 
Uh, of course, we have also have the book in our collection at Paul Sawyer. Uh, but if you're interested in picking one up, this could be an excellent opportunity to. to we were talking about Christmas shopping. Yeah. Do a little holiday shopping. Um, Mr. Cox will have copies of the book for sale at the event, um, so you could purchase one of those and get it signed. Absolutely. And poor Richards has been selling out of them. Yes. Oh, so really? yeah, they they got involved about two and a half months ago and started ordering them, and they're just. Mm-hmm. Selling out, <laughs> so it's awesome. And then, so folks can see, um, uh, we mentioned that you all are taking uh, January off um, right. after this one, and um, pick back up in February. But they can see the rest of the schedule at frankfurtheritageweek.com slash lecture series. Mm-hmm. Lecture slash series. Lecture slash or, uh, series. Dash, I'm sorry, oh, lecture, lecture dash, dash, dash series. series. Oh, I right. got you, it, I got you. Um, okay. And I, I want to say, so... We, like Diane mentioned, we were doing a soft opening, so we wanted to see how the crowd was. We, through Frankfurt Heritage Week, we realized that there was a, a desire to have these lectures, mm-hmm. and we wanted to make sure that we weren't overstepping our bounds. Mm-hmm. So we had uh, scheduled two for the fall season, the first season, mm-hmm. and in the spring, we will be uh, going monthly starting in February, um, and we will announce that lineup uh, at December 9th. Oh, okay. Um, we so. will. So if you come on Saturday, this Saturday, um, you can pick up a flyer that will have the that full the full season listed out. So you can put it on your fridge, put those dates in your calendar because you aren't going to want to miss these. Right. Um, it is it is pretty easy to remember though. I think once we get started, every second Saturday, yeah. one p.m. River Room at Paul Sawyer. Um, also, if you want to check out uh, the full schedule, you can also visit the Paul Sawyer Public mm-hmm. Library website uh, we'll have that up there um, as well as our Facebook page um, <clears throat> for this Saturday's event uh, we would ask that you register you don't have to mm-hmm. but so we can get an idea how, of how many folks will come yeah, sure. uh, if you wouldn't mind to register you can call the library or stop by or you can go on our website at www.pspl.org perfect mm-hmm. Well, no, I mean, I just want to thank you guys again for all that you do. I know you talked about those old lectures, right? And they've just lived, you know, right. uh, they're just living history basically over the last 40, you know, or 30 plus years. And so happy that you guys are continuing that great tradition and hope to well, continue it going you. for a long time. Well, and I want to. So I, I noticed your all's new historic display out front. Right. Yeah, and yeah. I had talked to Kathy about this at Candlelight and. You know, with everything that's going on with uh, um, trying to promote our municipal utility, oh, yes. sure. yeah. um, you know, I, I told Kathy I thought it was important to remind people that you all are a part of the legacy mm-hmm. of dating back to 1804. It, mm-hmm. You know, the 1940s was just a new reiteration of mm-hmm. the same company that has existed since 1805, mm-hmm. the Frankfurt Water Company. Yeah. Um, and so... And there's an actually tangential relationship to James Wilkinson there because when Wilkinson started Frankfurt, the crawl was a soggy, wet bottom mm-hmm. and that flooded all the time. And James Wilkinson is the one who drained it. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you all came through several years later and built the pipes, mm-hmm. um, the wooden pipes, Richard Throckmorton, um, it was partly because James Wilkinson had removed all the water from that area it's all connected it's yeah. all connected <laughs> so yeah it's amazing yeah you mentioned uh earlier you were mentioning where where uh lime water is now at the glenn willis house and and people mm-hmm. so much history is absolutely in and it's just nice to have these these little reminders as well yeah. um thank you all so much for for being on the show yeah. today talking to us so thank again, you for having us. Having it's us. a great program on saturday yeah, absolutely saturday 1 p.m check it out uh before we let you go though we'd be remiss if we didn't ask you the question of the day <laughs> what, what what do you guys think Santa's favorite cookie is I'm gonna leave a cookie out for him. Uh, what are you guys gonna go for, Diane? What do you got? Okay, I, I say you can't go wrong with a classic cutout sugar cookie, mm. homemade, home decorated. Yeah, that's, that's the way to go. What, do you, what shape are you cutting out? Is oh, it Santa? Got, um, like I, feel, I feel like any, I collect cookie uh, cutters. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so like growing up, um, we would do all kinds of things. I'm a cat person, so we would have like little cats. Okay. Yeah. We would holiday decorated. We do stars and Santas and candy canes. The candy Cane, snowmen, and, you know, yeah, the traditional stuff, perfect. but a cat in there too. Oh, sure, absolutely. Stuff, you know. <laughs> a cat with like a Santa hat on. Yeah, something. exactly. Yeah. That's a great tradition. We've never done that in my house, and so maybe we need to start doing that because that sounds so like a great fun. way to start. Yeah, you do that yeah. Christmas Eve and throw yeah. them out there. For... Maybe less messy than like uh, gingerbread houses or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. Oh, I never agreed. had much success with that. Yeah, so. yeah I, mean, I know. Yeah. Agreed. 
to call it. So mine, uh, well, so if I'm saying what is Santa's favorite, uh, I'll probably have to go with what Diane said. (laughs) You know, uh, as far as my favorite chocolate chip, but you know, if you're if you're Santa, you know, you're you're gonna go for the the sugar, the shapes, the colors, the you know. (laughs) Good call. (laughs) Think that fits into his personality. Wants to see himself in the cookie. (laughs) Sure. Yeah, Yeah, I got you. Little well, self promotion. Yeah, there. that's right. right. That's right. Uh, thank you all again so much for coming on. Again, Frankfurt Lecture Series uh, continues on next year, but you can check it out on Saturday, December 9th at 1 p.m. at the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks again. Thank you guys. Thank you all. Thanks.